Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I hope you're having a great day today. I have some things I've got to do. I'm going to have to leave the house, so I wanted to show you a quick and easy chicken crock pot meal. All right. The recipe says two to three chicken breasts. Well, I buy chicken tenders more than I do the breast because for us, if I'm going to cook them, that's just better because we don't have any wasted. So I put five chicken tenders in there. Now to that, I'm going to sprinkle salt and pepper. Now y'all, mine, mine are frozen because I just got them out of the uh, freezer and I did rinse them so the salt and pepper would kind of stick to them. But, um, if they're thought out, that's great also. Then, the recipe calls for garlic powder. Well, I'm going to use Y'all Brand's Southern Secret. It's onion and garlic together. And I'm going to just sprinkle a lot of that on them. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. And in the crock pot, that's my water right there. In the crock pot, I'm going to put one 10 and a 10.5 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. And a cup and a half of water, so I'm gonna put this water in there just to kind of rinse it around. And here's the other half. Then you're gonna take two packages, and these are just the eight ounce, no, not eight ounce, point eight ounce packs of chicken gravy mix. You're gonna mix two of these in with that. I just got the um, Walmart brand, great value. You could get the brand name if you want, but I find that this works. <clears throat> then I'm gonna mix that together. And then I will put my chicken in here. Just lay it in there. And now all that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lid on the crock pot. I'm going to turn it on low for six to eight hours. And when I come home, I'm going to add a half a cup of uh, sour cream to it and let it uh, stay for about 10 minutes. Shred the chicken. I'll show you when I come back. Okay, I have been out most of the day. It's mid-afternoon and I came home and what I'm gonna show you now is the next step, you're gonna take this and these chicken tenders, I'm gonna take two forks and I'm just gonna shred it. Shred them. And you know, you can put as much chicken in here as you want. If you have a big family, you put more. But for Harold and me, I think I told you I put five. And uh, it smells really good with that onion and garlic seasoning and salt and pepper on the chicken. And now what I'm going to do after I have shredded all this chicken, I'm just going to add a half a cup of sour cream. My 
sure that that is shredded good and it looks like it is. Okay. Put a half a cup of sour cream in here. going to stir that around, mix it in there really good. And the recipe says, you know, you can let it heat for um, 10 minutes or so, but this is so hot, the sour cream is ready right now. So what I have done is... Um, I cooked some rice after I got home. Cooked just enough for heroin in it. And let me put it on a plate. And I'll show you how I'm going to serve it. This is some of the rice that Kimmy sent from uh, Arkansas. And it is so good. Now, I'm just going to spoon up some of this chicken and gravy. Don't want to make a mess. But man, I know that's going to be good. I like gravy. Do y'all? I really do. And let me tell you what I'm going to do. I went out to my garden and I got one of the onions. Move this out of the way. And I'm just going to garnish it a little bit. Isn't that pretty? I know it is so good. I'll taste it. Now, it, it's hot, so I don't want to burn myself. Get one of those onions. Man, that's delicious. You saw how easy it was. So, get out your crock pot, get you some chicken breast, season it up. It was so easy. And you can have a meal. This and cook some rice. You can cook some cream potatoes or some pasta to serve it over. It even be good over toast. But anyway, hope you're having a great day. I just want to tell you Jesus loves you. He wants you to talk to him. You know, I like to talk, and I like for Harold to talk to me. But you know what? Jesus loves me more than Harold loves me, and he wants me to talk to him. He already knows my thoughts. So all I got to do is tell him what, what is on my heart, tell him what I'm concerned about, and then I need to listen and know he's with me, and he's going to take care of me. I hope you'll be salt and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you. I'll be back soon.